what's left of that murdered ass shopping cart. Um, I'm not gonna cut these up yet. Hopefully I have enough to finish the project, which is this right here. So I don't have to cut these up yet. I'm sure I'll cut them up on a different project, but hopefully not on this one. They have enough. I'm grinding the paint off of this elephant jack that I got from my buddy's house. Um, these are going to be the tubes for the feet. cut this tube at a pretty severe angle and what I'm going to do is cut it in half the long ways to make we'll have two halves and each half will be one foot. find the one that will fit in there perfectly. Alright, now that we found the glues that we need, we're going to just weld them onto the feet. Now is I'm cutting the shin guards out of the grocery cart.
Okay, <clears throat> so I found this stool that's made out of chrome and I don't like the way this guy is standing at all. So I was gonna have to cut them anyways. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the stool up and I'm gonna slice these uh, thigh protectors off and make them out of chrome and then I'm gonna position him in a way that I'm gonna like him to stand. I don't like this way. Alright, I finally got those shin guards off, or the thigh guards off. Now I can reposition these to a spot that I like, and I'm gonna have to cut this to the taper that I like, and weld that on. Luckily, I didn't destroy anything else in the process of taking those off. So I finally got the new thigh pieces cut and I'm about to weld them on.
going to be a paw. And this is going to be the fingers. Right, these are going to be the five fingers, and this is going to be the palm for the hand. It's the better world, the demo. Okay. Cut on the saw, I'm gonna take it to the bench grinder. Middle finger's kind of long. That's better.
this is the chain mail I just welded on and this pex that I just welded on. Now I'm going to weld his. Now I'm going to weld his shoulder pads on that I made out of the stool. The same thing that I made his thigh pads out of. Right, here's a trick you got some filthy uh, chrome this is part of the shopping cart if you take some steel wool I already started polishing in it if you got some steel wool you can see how it was if you got some steel wool if you just keep rubbing it with the steel wool this is Ford Zero steel wool if you just keep rubbing it you can polish it and get the chrome shine back <clears throat> all right here it is um that literally took like three minutes. Um, you can still see some pitting in the chrome. That's where the chrome wore off and the rust came through. But I'm gonna clear coat this guy anyways, so the rust won't come back. But it's just gonna make that guy that much shinier. And he's just gonna look that much better. <clears throat>
Okay, so this is the ball bearing that I got off of Amazon. This is a piece of 10, 10 18 steel, just re regular mild steel. This steel is like two for 20 bucks. And this is a cutoff piece of the feet. This is a cutoff piece of the feet from the elephant jack that I'm gonna use for the face shield. I still gotta grind it and everything, and I'm gonna weld it on. And then this is gonna be a piece of the top of the head after I form it. Cutting the bar stock for some horns I'm gonna put on his head. Um, I tried a couple other things for his head and I failed at them, so I'm going to try some horns this time.
cut this and ground this out of a piece of plate I had laying around. Um, I gotta grind it more to make it look like an actual sword. Put it on the buffing wheel and I buffed it out and this is mild steel so it's not the easiest to buff to get a high shine on it so this is what we got out of it <clears throat> this is the polish we got out of it and uh, this side has some battle scars <clears throat> to weld it on into place. <laughs> Cut that plate, I rounded off the corners and just filed down the edges so it'd be smoother, centered around there, and now I'm about to tack them onto the plate. I think he's right where I want him. 